Calculate the app on your Mac seems pretty simple at first. When you open it, it looks like a normal calculator. But it has a lot of hidden functionality that nobody's talking about. So let me tell you all about it. First new thing is that the calculator is showing the whole equation. Previously, you could see just one number and the operations were hidden as well. So there was no clear indication if you have pressed the plus button or anything else. But now you have it all here. And even once you press the equals button, you can see the whole equation on top and the results right under. And that's not all. You can actually click on the equation on top and bring it back in. So you don't need to be retyping everything if you just needed to change one number. And when you press the equals, it will save it as a new result in your history. Yes, you can now display your history of calculations. It used to be called paper tape and it was like a separate window where you can keep a record of all of your calculations. But now it is all connected together. So once you activate it in the view menu, it will bring the history panel on the left side. And now you can select any of the previous equations and even edit it. And it will every time save it as a new equation, new entry in the history. So you have a good idea and a good overview of all of your calculations. What is also new is that you can use parentheses here. Well, there are no buttons for that, but you can just type it using your keyboard. Thanks to that you can create a lot more complex formulas. And of course, it is considering the parentheses, so it will give you the correct answers. As I said, you can use parentheses if you type it in your keyboard. Well, basically, you can control the whole calculator just by the keyboard. I can start typing the equation here. Notice that the pointer is not moving. I'm doing everything on the keyboard. I can type the number. I can use the asterisk to multiply and the plus button between the numbers in the parentheses. And I can also add the slash to divide or add the percentage, all with the keyboard. But if I don't like something, I can press the delete key, which will delete the most recently added digit or a symbol. There are many keyboard shortcuts on the Mac and I'm already working on a very big video where I want to show you all of the most useful ones on the real examples. I don't know yet when it will be released, because now it's more actual to show you all of the new features of macOS Sequoia. But if you are subscribed, you'll surely not miss it. But now, back to the calculator. This one is pretty simple, but you can quickly switch to a scientific or to a programmer's calculator. And you can also do it using the shortcut. Because command one shortcut is for the basic one, Command 2 shortcut will switch to a scientific and Command 3 shortcut to the programmer. Let's go for a moment to a scientific calculator. This one looks like more the one we know from school and it has a lot more functions than the basic one. And if you want to get even more functions, then press the option key on your keyboard and it will reveal even more. But with all of the functions and buttons here, you might not know what all of these mean. Luckily, you can just go over that with a pointer and in a second, it will show you the basic info about it. So then you can make your further research somewhere on the internet. Or you can use the help menu where you will find very useful help document, which gives you a basic explanation about the calculator app and also about some of the functions you can use here. Among all of these different calculators, you have one more type of calculator here. That's the converter calculator. You previously had here the whole menu on top where you could convert any different kinds of metrics and measurements. But now it's much easier to have it all like this. So for example, I can convert miles into the kilometers. I'm going to run a half marathon this week. So now I know how many kilometers it will be. But what is more exciting is that the calculator regularly connects to the internet and getting the current currency conversions. So you don't need to be searching the internet if you just want to switch between dollars, euros or any other currency. Now let's see some interactions with other applications. Well, the basic option is the ability to copy your result or copy the equation. If I right click it here in the history, it will offer me to take either the result or the whole equation and I can now paste it in some other document wherever I want. I can also do it the other way and just copy numbers from outside and put them in the calculator. But I cannot copy any complex equations. I can just take one simple number. But if you want to write more complex equations, then click here and it will create a special math node where you can get all of your results clearly presented. I can start typing here something simple. And once I press the equals, 
the result appear here as a suggestion, which I can confirm by clicking on the spacebar or press return key. But in the notes section, you are not limited only to these classical equations. You can also define different variables and create a lot more complex calculations. To define any variable, you first need to type the letter or a word, then straight away at equals, and then of course the value of it. For example, letter x equals number 2. I can add another one, z equals 3. And now I can put them together, x plus z equals, and it will insert the result after the equal sign immediately. Actually, it's just a suggestion again, which I have to confirm, otherwise it will disappear. But I can set it up to immediately insert the result. It's down here in the format menu. It's the format menu of the notes app, not the calculator app. And here, I can decide if I want to keep on only suggesting, I want to insert it immediately, or I can fully turn off these automatic suggestions. And of course, everything is synced between all of your devices. So if you have an iPad with Apple Pencil, you can also write your equations there. Once you draw by hand the equation and the equal sign, it will again suggest you the result. But I'll show you all of the tapes and new features of the Notes app in the next video. If you are subscribed already, you will surely not miss it. It was already 10 tricks as I promised. But at the end, I have one more small bonus tip. If you are calculating something all the time, it also makes sense to have the calculator visible all the time. But once I start working with different applications, opening different windows, it might get lost somewhere below it. Well, if you go to window menu and tick on this one, it will from now on be always above all of the windows. As you can see, even if I drag another window on top of that, it will actually go under. So if you want to stay on top of all the new features in macOS Sequoia, then make sure to click on the subscribe button, because I'll make sure to bring you some more tips in the next video. So see you there.